Hello YouTube and welcome back to my match with Colm. This is frame three out of four. So let's see how this one goes. There's Colm with his 21 point handicap advantage, although after the way he absolutely battered me in frame two, well that's how it felt anyway, I'm surprised he needs it. But I'm very happy with uh, my opening pot there. Lovely opening red. Mm. But not so lucky. Or rather not so good with that black. A little quick here for Cole, but he sinks that red. Has that one got the legs? Yeah. Well, if I'd have got the line right, it would have had the legs to reach the cushion. I've made contact with the brown. Well, that's a good length, but he has left this red over the corner. Can I put it and get back out for a colour? Now, would you believe where it stopped there that the only balls that are possible are the green and the black? So the green kind of feels pointless going for that one. The black <coughs> did it did go to that corner. So that wasn't me being greedy. It just seemed like a sensible ball. And uh, good shot from Colm there. It's put me in a little bit of trouble. It only left me. Oh, I was going to say he only left me with the outside edge of that one. I think I think I miscued it. This one, yes, I managed to get that one correct and get actually get a good return cue ball. And, oh, that's about half a ball roll away from being in behind the black and causing me a lot of problems. So, very tactical at the opening exchanges. Very nice line. Very nice length as well. Yes, and thankfully the cue ball was stopped in a position where I could, well, I thought I could get past that blue and just snick the outside of that red. So I'm just leaving my cue in place there in case Khan wanted to put me back, but he's chosen not to. And is that one dropping? It certainly is. Not even contemplating the black there, just wanted to get the this well this red away from the blue to make that more accessible should I need to get up to it. Yeah, there's me doing a bit of dancing there, up down, up down, like a yo-yo. Sped that up slightly and I've overscrewed that somewhat. I was just trying to come back for that red into the same pocket. So now I've got a bit of a job. This red up into the yellow bag and missed that by quite some distance, didn't even get in the jewels. Now, taking this one because it's the red that's going to take me. To a potable black, although I've hit that one a little bit harder than I needed to. 
So they're now a cut back black. And I was trying to use the two reds and pink to slow the cue ball down, but thankfully I've hit it soft enough the cue ball's not gone too far away. I always knew I was going to get the cannon on that second red, so that's why I've hit that one a bit firmer. So I just wanted to make sure that cue ball came out. Not very happy about that shot. Uh, considering I've stuck it over the green bag, Colm's got a relatively straightforward one there. Yeah, he's come down the table nicely. Yeah, it's not quite rolled far enough for the blue into that left middle so we had to take on that awkward brown now can I cut this one back in hopefully I can can in the red that would be nice but nope hmm thinking too much about where I wanted the cue ball and I've gone and missed the blue. So not doing particularly well in this third frame. It all seems to be a bit of a struggle. Yeah, so that long range red, well, more of a safety shot really, that went very wrong for me. And Colm's managed to negotiate the cue ball down and into position on this black. Not quite with that one, so just the, oh dear, I was going to say, just the safety shot from me. I've caught the bump of the middle pocket, so... The only saving grace is the cue ball went to post that side cushion for me. Oh, very thankful that I hit the blue to <laughs> slow the cue ball down, otherwise that would have been going all the way back down towards the reds. So far this frame's been fairly scrappy. One of us needs to grab it by the scruff of the neck and take charge. Is it going to be myself or my opponent? It's a good line on the keyboard to get down to Next red, yeah, decent pot there with that rest. Now, is he going to drop this one in or? Ah! Oh. <clears throat> now, 22 points of difference. I'm going to try and get the cue ball in behind the black. Which I've sort of done because of how far the Red Bull has travelled. So just the one cushion escape from Colm. How's he going to fare? We don't, we don't see it because his gorgeous head was in the in the shot, but he did actually make contact with it. And that's my rather poor effort <laughs> trying to get in behind the pink. Miles away from that one. Uh, 
No, that was an attempt at the pops. And that is one of the worst places where I could have left it. Oh, a very nice cut there. On the blue into the middle bag, leaving himself nicely on this yellow. Yes, we are definitely in snookers required at this point. Oh, <clears throat> right, 30 points of difference, 25 available. Pink and black not in the best of positions for snookers as they're so close to that cushion, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. So in goes the green. And now trying to get that cue ball. Oh, that was a better effort, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so I was trying to get in behind the pink and I wasn't, I guess I wasn't too far away with that effort. So now what am I going to do from here? It's 23 the difference, I still, still need the one snooker. And that keyboard has kept running and running. I thought I'd played that soft enough to give myself a decent chance at getting this one safe. So just, I was playing the hard up and down screw to try and sort of move the pink or black into a slightly better place. Mm -hmm. Carl's <clears throat> put that over the pocket, so do I try and keep the blue out of the pocket or do I just knock it in and try and get somewhere close to the pink so opting for close to the pink and as you can see by my reaction I haven't put the correct correct side on it so now I'm trying to go very very thin off this pink and very, very slowly to leave the white in the jaws of the pocket, but it's gone in. That is such a difficult one, especially on such a fast pace. Yeah. Um, so that puts you on six and two, that's 20 from three balls. Uh, three balls. So I won't be able to see them that far. So, yes, you heard the concession there. I think that was right. Um, no point in going for two snookers when there's only the two balls left on the table, especially when they're in that position. So well done to Colm, he's got at least a draw out of this match. Thank you very much for joining me with this uh, third frame. I will see you in a couple of days with frame four, but for now everyone, take care. <laughs>